Hi, I am Dr. Sharjeel and uh, today I would like to show you different steps of uh, FACO emulsification. First of all, you have to stabilize the glow with a corneal forceps at 6 o'clock and with a FACO 2.75 knife from the periphery slowly and gradually enter into the anterior chamber to make proper FACO wound. Then stain the anterior capsule make sure you put the bubble before uh, putting the vision blue now remove the dye the capsule has been stained well now put the viscoelastic After maintaining the interior chamber with viscoelastic, now we are making the side ports, one on the right and now the left one. The left one is made a bit larger because we have to do fine irrigation aspiration. And now here we are making the cystatome. That's how cystatome has been made. Now again put some viscoelastic. And now with the help of sister Tom, we are doing the continuous curvilinear capsulorexis. Now we have completed the capsulorexis. Here you can see. So now we are doing the hydrodissection. Make sure that you are under the edge of uh, anterior capsule while doing uh, hydrodissection. Do it as much as possible. You can feel the positive pressure in the capsular bag. Rotate the nucleus to make sure you have completed. Again put the viscoelastic and now hold the and superior edge of the wound with the corneal and slowly enter the phaco probe in order to prevent the decimal detachment put the side instrument remove the epi cortex and then make a small groove And then with the help of the second instrument I use dialer. You can divide the nucleus into two. You can rotate the nucleus. Put water on the corneal surface if it is getting dry. Now you can see we have almost emulsified all the nucleus, but there is a lot of cortical matter present. So here we have now put the irrig irrigation aspiration mode so you can remove the fine cortical matter with the phaco probe as well in irrigation aspiration mode or you can also use irrigation aspiration cannulas here we are removing it with the phaco probe Now with the Simco canola you can also remove the remaining cortical matter. We have removed all the cortical matter. Yeah. Now here uh, we are showing you how to prepare the injector. You have to put the gel. 
the jacket then foldable IOL is placed make sure that the optic as well as haptics are well placed inside before closing the jacket because if it is not properly placed then haptic or optic can be cut now here jacket has been placed in the injector clear and yeah. now with the corneal holding the wound put the injector into the main wound and inject the foldable intraocular lens into the anterior chamber you should try that the inferior haptics go beyond the iris but in this case uh, it is the whole lens is present in the All anterior right. chamber so with the help of dialer you can put the foldable eye well into the bag uh -huh. and now remove the ex viscoelastic from the bag as well as from the anterior chamber try to remove all the viscoelastic and then at the end you can